Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out the top right eye over there. You got a bunch of nice links there as well. And yeah, all the support is appreciated. So here we are in this series. I haven't really worked on this for a while, but I have a few ideas to come back to the series since I really like the simplicity. Uh, and yeah, but we we need to finish this game. So this game, just quick recap. What we have been doing is we have update bullets function, and then we have a combined update enemies and combat function. Now, I the idea I had here was good. It's a good good thing to optimize your game. But in our case, when we're learning, it's not always good because it kind of jumbles everything together, makes it more complicated and hard to understand. So we're gonna make a few changes. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna Go ahead and make this a little easier to read, first of all. So I'm going to, instead of having this as update enemies in combat, I'm going to remove the and combat part and just have update enemies. And I'm going to add a function called update combat. So we have three different functions. And I know this might seem like it's not really optimized and it's not the best optimization since we're going to do have a few extra for loops. But uh, what it does, it, it makes it easier to read. It makes it easier to understand for you guys and you some of you are new so that's why we're doing this remember this isn't to optimize the hell out of your game it's just to keep it nice and clean so before you remove stuff from this update enemies function i want you to call this function as well so if we go to wherever we have our update function it should be down here here we need to fix this first so update enemies should be by itself and then we're going to do a this update combat good and everything seems fine if you don't call it you're going to get a bunch of problems so that's why now i'm going to copy all i everything i had here in update enemies i'm going to copy all this stuff in this for loop and i'm going to control x that so you have this left and put it in there in our new function and it's not going to look like this don't worry but we're going to we're going to yeah we're going to make it nice now in update enemies, I'm going to make it just like update bullets. So I want you to copy everything from update bullets and we're going to put it in here. So first of all, this is spawning and down here is the update. Okay. And we're going to have counter everything. We just need to rename this to enemy and rename this to enemies. Good. Enemy update and enemy but the difference here is we're not going up we're going down so i'm gonna get do get bounce dot top okay plus okay plus the height of it height is greater than okay is greater than whatever our screen with this all right and the way we're going to do that is do the get window size so i'm going to get the y size here so just copy the x size here just put the y size in update enemies uh, here size y uh, so it's larger than that size and well let's see if the top is larger i'll keep it like this you know what we're going to remove this part probably but this is to see that they're being removed so for now just keep that keep the enemy update keep the counter and then we're going to delete this enemies add counter very good enemies erase good Begin plus counter. Very good. Now we're pushing a new enemy. Remember, it's dynamic. So we're pushing a new enemy into each of these vector spaces. That's why we have to delete that enemy first and then erase it from the vector because it's dynamic. Okay, don't get that twisted. Don't forget to do that. Otherwise, you're going to get some issues or memory leaks. But once you have this done, you'll be able to spawn your enemies and they'll update. So first of all, I want to check that and make sure it's working fine just so we don't get any leaks and any crashes 
that is working the enemies are deleting there you can see that they're being removed right as they hit that point so now that i know that's working i'm going to remove this plus height so that we don't see them when they're being removed okay so the head of the enemy is below the window size bottom it's going to be removed good so make sure it looks like this make sure your update bullets looks like this and now we're gonna go ahead and make the update combat now a good way to do this will be to pretty much remove everything in here and just loop through all the enemies okay we loop through all the enemies because that vector is probably going to be smaller than all your bullets so you want the one you think will be smallest loop in here the big loop and then you want to do another for loop with k and say this bullets dot size so you'll have two vectors in here two for loops and what we're going to do is we're going to check the collision between these just like we did before so this enemies at position i dot get bounds dot intersects that's our function that checks an intersection with another uh, another uh, rectangle shape or another sprite and this so we're going to check that with this bullets at position k don't get it mixed up here make sure you have bullets with k always and enemies with i so you don't go beyond the size of the vector uh, get bounce so here all you have to do is get bounce and it will check the intersection for you uh, there we go okay so once your intersection is checked once you find a collision we obviously need to remove these these both of these uh, items objects from these vectors and that's very easy again this enemies dot erase and also don't forget this enemies at position i and then delete it delete it don't forget that erase begin plus now what is it related to i mean what is what is the counter's name for enemies it's i right so don't forget that do a plus i here so once you have that you want to just copy paste the whole thing and we're just going to switch it with bullets and then good good once that's done pretty much everything is done okay when it comes to combat so you'll see we have a few extra for loops but it's a lot easier to read you know readability is so important like i can't it's just so important so we need to just remember that as we go through here uh, we don't have anything else here good let's try our combat out and probably we'll get started with some nice point system or something after this okay so that's working you see okay so okay there was two things two things uh you need to have k here so i was i gave you a warning and i didn't follow it myself so that's my own fault uh so put k here on these two and we need one more thing one thing that's very important so let me tell you a scenario here and this is good to know for all your other games now when you have two things here you're probably going to have a game where you have enemies and bullets and you need to think like this so i'm going through each of the enemies enemy a b and c okay let me paint this up for you guys it's very important i kind of forgot to tell you this so we have three enemies here uh, let's say we have one two and three enemies okay and we have like one two three four five bullets here now enemy a we're checking enemy a for all the bullets one two three four five six nothing's happening we're checking oh, we'll have one more enemy here actually we're checking this one for everything nothing happens now our enemy three the i is three here we're in the third position of the for loop we're checking that enemy towards all the bullets so I'm checking one, two, three, four, five. And if, imagine we have one more bullet here. Okay, that'll be the example. So five. So here is a collision right here. This is the collision. What happens then once we find a collision here in the code? In that collision, we're deleting that enemy I and we're erasing that from this vector. 
and we're deleting the bullet as well. So imagine that is gone. Like these, these two things are gone now. Okay. But we're still on the same enemy. I, that I position. Okay. And we have one bullet left. So it's going to check that same deleted enemy towards that next bullet. Because this I hasn't changed. It hasn't gone to the next position in this for loop. It's still in here. It's checking that deleted enemy towards a bullet that actually does exist. And it's going to try to delete and do all this stuff. And that's not going to work. It's going to crash. So what we need to do is we need to put a checker here that if the bullet has killed something, we're going to jump out of this for loop and go to the next enemy. Okay, that's what we did before. So bull enemy deleted false that's all you have to do bool enemy deleted false and in here you're going to do and and enemy deleted equals false and what this says is keep going in this for loop until you've reached the end of bullets or if you find that enemy deleted is true Okay, or while keep going while enemy deleted is false. As soon as it's true, jump out of the for loop. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, you have two uh, two conditions in here. Now we just need to set this to true as soon as we delete an enemy and a bullet. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do enemy deleted equals true, and that's going to just jump out of that loop, and then we'll go to the next enemy, and this will be set to false again, and we'll check all the bullets. So pretty much that's what I want to do. Uh, it's not the most efficient way, but it's an all right way to do things, I'd say. So if I just kill stuff and I just keep shooting, it's not going to crash now because, you know, we have that check in place. And that bullet disappears. See? So you're not having any issues. Good. So you can go ahead and try this out. Test it. You shouldn't find any problems. And you'll be good. Now, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the GUI, uh, the score system, point system, all that. Also, keep points in either player or game. We'll see what we'll do. And, yeah, I'm trying to get back into the series again. So that's why it might be a little slow and sluggish. But I'll do my best to get back to it. Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Check out the description box, all the nice links. Drop a like, subscribe. Check out the eye on the top right as well. And most importantly, take care and work hard, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.